Working on the 4527A today. Got a couple of hydraulic hoses we're replacing. Uh, this is the jib. And these have a pretty hard turn in here, 180 degree. And so where these kind of tend to bend, they wear out pretty fast. Uh, we had a leak on one of these and the other one was in pretty rough shape. So went ahead and pulled both of those. Uh, just a quick tip on these lifts. If you're not using the air and water lines, which is what all this is laying on the ground, connected at the front up here, they run all the way through both booms and your extension and they mount up to the basket right there taking mine off um, take those off pull them out of the machine you'll find that when you have to pull a new hydraulic hose or a new wire through this machine it gives you quite a bit more room and flexibility in order to pull these lines through these machines are pretty tight because i think there's around eight or ten coming off this top up here and then another um, quick tip if you don't know this on this upper jib here basket all of these have a short connection. So this is about a three foot hose that runs up here. Sometimes these slide back up in here so you can't find them, but they were smart enough to give you an opportunity just to replace the short end of the hose instead of 60 feet. And then lastly, one of the things we do, if you can tell that aluminum is kind of bent up a little bit. Because of how square this is from the factory, we notice it tends to rub on our hoses here some. So I just take a pair of ice grips and kind of crimp that and push it up a little bit so it's more of a rounded edge and it doesn't wear the hoses out as much. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our nylon sleeve protector. We're gonna shove it back up in there, re-zip tie all this back together just to protect those hoses and give it some more longevity.